In this video, we will look into creating a C++ Android plugin for Unity. This video is a part of the Unity Android plugin series, if you haven't watched the previous videos, kindly have a look for a better understanding. Here we have our empty Android Studio project. Now create a new module Android library, modify the configuration. After the new Android library is created, go to SDK Manager, SDK Tools, here select the NDK, side by side, CLI Tools and CMake, after selected click on OK, this will download the required dependencies for building the C++ library. Now go to newly created library, Java, and click on Add C++ to Module, select the CMake list option. Here you will see the path where all C++ source files along will cmakelist.txt will be located. Click on OK, this will create a CPP file, cmakelist.txt, and update the build.gradle. CMakeList.txt has the build configuration for the C++ library, the type of library shared, and the name of the library. Now go to the CPP file. Include JNI and IASTream. Place all methods inside an extern C declaration to ensure they are declared with C linkage. Now add the getSumNumber method which will return an integer 23 as output. Add another method which will return the sum of two integers. Build the plugin. The output will be inside build, outputs, AAR, inside your created library directory. Note that it outputs an AAR file, if you uncompress the AAR file, then inside JNI all the .so libraries for the specific build will be present. One can either copy them or import the complete AAR to the Unity project. Open your Unity project. 
create new folder for scripts and plugins. Go to Build Settings and switch platform to Android. Rename the scene. Create a new script CPP native and add that to any game object in the scene. Now go to the created C Sharp script. Add the runtime interrope services for external C library. Create a constant string to reference the library name, which can be copied from the cmakelist.txt file. Use DLL import to add the get some number and add methods referencing the C equivalent for the same in the C library. In the start method print the output of get some number as debug log. And similarly print the output for sum of two integers 123 and 659.
Now go to Plugins folder and copy the previously created AAR library inside it. The screen of connected Android phone is shown here. Now go to Build Settings, add the open scenes. Go to the player settings, rename the package name as per requirement, and select proper API version. In the Android Studio, go to LogCat and type Unity to display only Unity-related logs. Build the app. As the app runs on the phone the output of get some number and add, methods declared in C++ library can be seen in Unity's debug log.